Hi everyone, um, I'm Carla from Vintage Hip Decor. Um, I'm hopping on here today just to show you a little project I'm working on super quick this morning. Um, this basket I purchased over the weekend at Broomfield uh, Market in Massachusetts. We took a little trip up there and went shopping for the store and bought a bunch of smalls that are really nice um, that we've filled the store with. Um, but this basket was like a little dry and I just wanted to bring it back to life a little bit. So I'm going to show you what I do or what I use to do that with. Um, so I have here um, Miss Mustard Seed Hemp Oil. So um, hemp oil you can use as a finish over milk paint. But you can also use it to revive dried out wood or, um, you know... I don't know if this is made with wood. I guess it is. <laughs> I don't know what baskets are made out of. Um, they could obviously be made out of a bunch of different things. I think this one is just like thin wood that this is made out of. And it was a bit dried out and I already started using the oil. I don't know if you can see at the bottom, but over here it's still dried out. And then I've done it a bit there. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Hopefully you'll be able to see the difference as I kind of work on the basket overall. So that's overall, what it's kind of looking like at the moment. It's a really massive basket. I really like it. So I'm going to be sitting here hemp oiling that and hopefully so you can see the difference that hemp oil makes in taking something that's dried out and just bringing it back to life and um, kind of giving it like a drink of water. And then this dresser behind me, actually I'm going to hemp oil the back of that as well. Um, this dresser we've been working on in this week in the studio. It's actually painted in this mustard seed milk paint as well. But um, the back of it's not awfully dried out, but it's like a little dusty and dirty looking. <clears throat> and I don't want it to look that way in the customer's home. So I'm gonna be um, putting the hemp oil on that as well, just to kind of bring it back to life, just so it doesn't look like an old back of a dresser so it looks a little nicer for when we deliver it to somebody's home. I mean it just stands against the wall but there's still that moment when you deliver a piece and you unwrap it they see all sides of it and I just want it to look nice. So we're gonna be doing that as well. So I just have poured the hemp oil into like a bowl into just like a paper bowl and I have just like a chip brush that I'm gonna be using. Um, to hemp oil it and it's pretty easy um, you just brush it on there so let me pull this a little more into view um, so yeah you just brush it on there and now with surfaces where um, maybe if you use this over milk paint as a top coat standard procedure is um, brushing it on and then leaving it for a half an hour or an hour or so um, to really soak in and then you go back and you wipe away any excess oil um, but with stuff like this where it's super dried out um, chances are that it's probably just going to drink up all of the oil and that you won't have to go back and wipe any away because it's just going to drink it up um, and then even if you wipe away the excess, you give it some time to completely dry. But it just soaks in there and kind of revitalizes it. So hopefully you can tell the difference in that little section there. If I rotate it, I think you can tell how that is now looking moisturized like you put like lotion on it that's soaking in and really moisturizing the wood again and making it this will hopefully you know help protect the basket to um, prevent it for, from getting too brittle and breaking um, it's already an older basket I don't know the exact age of the basket um, but it certainly is old and there are parts of it that um, could be very, you know, could be very brittle and, and snap and break. And so in order to help preserve the wood, um, we're just kind of moisturizing it again. 
so it's not so brittle. So it's just as easy as, like I said, as brushing it on and then just leaving it to soak in. And then if I need to, I'll go back and I'll wipe away excess oil. But like I mentioned, I don't think I will have to do that. Um, I think that it'll probably just drink up all of the oil. In fact, it already drank up all the oil I had in my bowl. So I'll have to refill here. It is a bigger basket. So the other nice thing about hemp oil is that it's um, food grade. Um, so that means that you can use it on things like um, dried out cutting boards or wooden utensils in your kitchen and it would be completely safe to use since it's food grade. And that makes it a nice, um, a nice natural, um, safe option for a top coat for milk paint. So I'm just going to top up here. It's a really pretty like golden color. It also gives you a little bit of like water resistance. Since it is an oil, it'll resist water a little bit. So you can use this to, um, if you have any dried out furniture as well, um, not all furniture needs to be painted. Some furniture is in fairly good condition and has beautiful grain, but it just needs something to kind of bring it back to life. And a lot of people in the past have used furniture polish and that kind of thing. But that just like builds up and leaves a layer um, of polish on your piece of furniture that just builds up and builds up over the years. And is not actually a very nice way of preserving your, your older furniture. But with hemp oil, you, if you coat it in hemp oil, it'll bring it back to life and make it look, you know, the wood nice and lustrous again. And it'll seep deep down into the wood. It won't just sit on the surface and, and make, you know, a layer. It'll seep deep down into the wood and nourish the wood to help preserve it for many more years to come and give it that nice lustrous shine again and bring the wood back to life. So we like to do this on pieces where maybe we are keeping the drawers wooden and painting just the body. Or like I was mentioning, if you have a piece of furniture in your home that's maybe like an heirloom that you don't want to paint necessarily, but it just needs a little something to make it look a little bit better, then hemp oil is a good option for that. You can obviously do it with your old baskets like I'm doing. You can do it with like wooden picture frames, anything that could just use a little bit of oil to bring it back to life and to make it so that you can use it in your home. You see the difference there between the two. It's really drinking up the oil. And it's very easy to brush on. It's a very quick project. Um, so it's a nice way of incorporating and honoring some of the wood in your home as well. I personally, even though we have painted furniture in our store and um, I have a lot of painted furniture at home as well. I don't like every single piece being a painted piece of furniture. Um, I like mixing the wood, mixing in wooden pieces as well as painted pieces. So hemp oil is a nice way to, to do that, to kind of hemp oil the wooden pieces that you have in your home so that they look nice. instead of having everything just needing to be painted. Some wood can be saved without needing to paint it. All right, this is the last little section because this is where I started. And then we'll move to the, the back of this dresser behind me.
does it have an odor? That's a very good question. Hemp oil does have a little bit of a smell to it, but I wouldn't call it an odor. Um, it's a very unique scent. I don't know how I would describe it. The scent doesn't linger after it's dried. It's just kind of while you're busy with it. Um, you can definitely do it inside. It's not a strong enough smell where um, it would be offensive doing it inside. Like if you're in an apartment city or an apartment in the city, you know, you could easily do this project inside of your apartment. You wouldn't have to have like an outdoor space. Since it's food grade safe, it's safe to um, apply inside. There's nothing toxic about it. All right, so we're almost done with this. Somebody cut handles into this basket. <laughs> so I was definitely concerned about these pieces here becoming too brittle and breaking away. So this will help kind of preserve those pieces. So there we go, just like that. I'm gonna put this over here. So that's what we're looking like now. And just to show you again, that's the inside. It was dried out like that. I will be oiling the inside as well and hopefully it'll look like this side that I've already done. Kind of more like that instead of dried out. But it just, you know, brings it back to life and gives it nice luster and shine. So now I'm gonna show you what that looks like on this dresser. I actually used hemp oil on the top of this dresser as well. I sanded it down and used the color, the milk paint color Curio, which is like a nice warm brown color in Miss Mustard Seed's line that you can water down and use as a stain. So I sanded down the, the top and painted it with Curio and then used hemp oil as the top coat. But I wanna use it on the back of this dresser as well to show you what it'll do to the back of this piece. of furniture the backs of them were mostly um, wooden today you get like beadboard and or not beadboard what is it called it's just that like board <laughs> that's on the back of furniture it's not solid wood anymore but they used to use real wooden planks and that's what this is and I just wanted to look nice back here as well And in fact, in all the pieces of our furniture, we always paint a little section on the back here. Um, most furniture, you know, has this, this top ledge and then the sides that we always paint. Because I want, like I was mentioning before, I, I want that to look nice when we are delivering it to the customer. A lot of people just, especially if you're painting for yourself at home, you don't care what the piece of furniture looks like in the back. We take a little more... We, we pay a little more attention to how the back looks since we are delivering it to customers. Um, we don't want it to look like sloppy back here because a lot of the time if you paint you know, the side of the dresser here, there will be a little bit of overpaint here. And instead of just leaving it um, looking kind of sloppy and messy, we almost always paint the back of the piece just in those little strips to make it look nice. And that's what I'm doing with the oil too is just Try to make the back of the piece of furniture look nice as well. It's already soaking in. So when I'm done oiling this, I will just leave it to soak in. 
and it will most likely just absorb all of the oil. But if after a half an hour or an hour there's still some oil on the surface, I'll just wipe it away with a lint-free cloth. And yeah, it's starting to look a little patchy because it's absorbing already in certain spots. That's basically what it looks like. I still have to finish the bottom there. And I still have to do the inside of the basket. Um, but if you think you have anything at home that you want to bring back to life a little bit using hemp oil, um, it's what I was using is the Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint Hemp Oil. We sell that on, on our website um, or in our Etsy store. Um, and we you know ship all over the country and stuff. So if you have anything at home you think could use a little a little love and a little attention but you don't necessarily want to paint it this might be a great option for you um so i hope you learned something i hope that was useful for you for your day um yeah let us know if you have any questions we're always here to help if you um wanted to know anything else <laughs> um thanks for watching